Chapter 193 As Alex drove, leaving the Richard family villa in the distance, Trump angrily said, if I knew that my mother and elder brother were so cold-blooded, I would not have helped them so much in the past. Emma was sitting in the passenger seat at this time, and she could only sigh as she said, if they are going to keep this up, the Richard group will definitely be ruined in no time at all. Just then, Elaine said indignantly, the main point is the fact that we have helped them so much. Didn't they obtain the contract with Diamond Group because of us? Now, it seems as though we've helped them for no reason at all. Alex replied indifferently, Mom, if they continue acting this way, they will not end up well anyway. The only reason why the Richard Group could survive until today was because of their collaboration with the Diamond Group. However, they did not know that the Diamond Group belonged to him. They had already offended him like this, and they were still thinking of making money off Diamond Group? They were daydreaming. He only needed to make one phone call to Doris, and the Richard family would be completely destroyed. Trump touched the half-dried blood on his forehead before muttering, who would have thought that the Richard family could be so ruthless? We have not even had the chance to live in the villa that Mr. White gave to Alex, and yet, they are already trying to take it away from us. They are clearly trying to subdue and bully us into submission. As soon as he was done speaking, Trump's eyes lit up as he said to Alex, my dear son-in-law, can you bring us to now? I keep thinking about that villa, and I really want to see it again. Emma quickly responded, Dad, we are almost home. Why do you want to see the villa now? Besides, Leo is still overseeing the renovation of the villa because it has not been completed yet. Trump sighed as he replied, Oh. I just want to go and have a look at it now. Otherwise, I will not be able to sleep tonight. Alex could understand Trump's mentality. After all, this was the same as a situation where a person who could not afford a car was suddenly given the most expensive luxury car. Even if he were not driving, he would always want to take a look at the car that was in the parking lot. Therefore, Alex quickly said to Emma, since dad wants to take a look at the villa, let's go and check it out. Moreover, we can talk to Leo if you have any ideas for the interior renovations. Trump smiled before saying, Alex understands me the most. Emma could only sigh helplessly before she said, all right, then, let's go and have a look now. Alex immediately turned his car around at the traffic light and drove to Beacon Top immediately. After parking his car in front of the villa in Beacon Top, Alex frowned as soon as he stepped out of his car. Even though the gates were closed, there seemed to be a huge commotion inside the villa. When Emma saw that Alex was frozen in place, she quickly asked him, what's wrong? Alex replied, something is not right. Let's go in and have a look. After saying that, Alex led the way and walked into the courtyard without hesitating. As soon as he stepped into the courtyard, he saw several bodyguards dressed in black throwing some furniture out of the villa. Trump exclaimed immediately, those are the bodyguards from the Richard family. The expression on Alex's face changed immediately. The Richard family really did not know when to stop. He had not even started dealing with them but they were already here to cause trouble for him. Who allowed you to come in here? Alex yelled as he rushed up to the bodyguards. As soon as they saw Alex, the bodyguards started panicking. Just then, Harold's voice sounded from the living room. I was the one who let them in. Harold was holding a crowbar in his left hand, and he had a thick gauze wrapped around his right hand as he walked out arrogantly.